What's up everybody? It's Jeremy here and I'm ocean bound, not going far. Aww. Yeah. All right, what's up everybody? It's Jeremy here. I'm ocean bound. I'm super excited today. I'm going to Pleasure Bay. We're, we're breaking the seal today. It's Thursday and I want to start a Thursday night wing race series here at Pleasure Bay. So today is the day that we're gonna start doing that. I got the sup on the top of my car. I've got buoys that I got last year. I've got all of this stuff. And the plan is, is that we're gonna blow up all of this stuff, get it ready, and have a wing race today. It's gonna be intense. I mean, today is gonna be like an impromptu, like, oh, let's see what we can do. And then if we're gonna, you know, if it's gonna be windy on Thursdays, we're just gonna continue to do this on Thursday. Uh, so stoked! So, that's what I got now. I gotta get this going. Let's start taking this stuff apart and get ready for a race. Gosh, check it out. Oh man, look at how, oh, this is crazy. You guys don't know this, but the tide is high. Really high tide. And look at this. Now, it's not the most beautiful weather in the world, but that makes it twice as beautiful. All right. So first, how stoked are we to get this stuff moving? I mean, we've been talking about racing at Key Bay for years now, years. I remember a group of us started racing foils at the BBR, the Buzzers Bay Regatta a couple years ago, and that just sparked these ideas of having local races in our heads. Racing's definitely its own thing. And I would push anyone to try it just because it's an experience. There's a lot going on a lot of skill, depending on how good you are, you know, luck can be involved, gear is a thing, and of course, like the conditions and the winds. And if you're a sailor and you've raced sailboats before, you definitely have an edge just knowing some of the little things about racing. So it's all stuff I, I want to learn. I just that. I figure this is a good spot to throw it. I don't think it's a good spot to throw it. It's about an eight foot jump. Okay, so Eric is my race consultant. He kind of showed me how we could do the course in the bay. Here's a map of the course that we set. We have two yellow TEP buoys on the western side marking the start line. And then we've got this kind of crosswind, slightly upwind tack across the bay to the east to the red TEP buoy, rounding that on our left side to our port sides, and then doing a big downwind run to the orange round buoy in the northeast corner of the bay near Castle Island Sully's, doing a jive around that again on our, you know, the buoy to our left or port sides. And then we haul back upwind to the first red buoy. And this time rounding it as an upwind tack, so it would be on our right side or starboard side. And then it's just a drag race on this like side wind to slightly downwind angle to the finish, which is you know going through the two yellow tet buoys that we used as the start. So this is all beer league stuff, and I really hope this becomes like a legit you know, organic thing that we start getting people coming and racing with us and hanging out with us on Thursday nights. And I really want it to be fun, but ideally, you know, we want to start making it more official when it comes to starts and timings and stuff like that. So this day we kind of got to the line, everyone's like, how are we going to start? That wasn't completely thought through, so we were just kind of asking people what they thought. This evening we happen to try two from sitting on our butts and two from our knees. So let me give you some highlights of what happened, right? We ran four races. The first race we had six people. And the start seems a little chaotic and I think we were all kind of fumbling to get up to on foil. I didn't have the greatest start and I felt like I was kind of on the chase, but especially as I rounded that red buoy, I was close to Paul and I totally clipped that buoy and fell in and everything after that was just frantic. I, I feel like I never really recovered. I know, um, you know, one of my friends, Antoine, went hard off the bat and um, he seemed to lose a little bit of steam on the downwind part of the course. Paul was doing well for his handicapped. He's got a little sciatica. He did get across the, the finish line first, but he did happen to round that red buoy the wrong way for the second time. The, the guy who did number two also rounded it the, the wrong way. I, I ended up getting third. Um, I fell four times altogether and I really just didn't have a chance since that first fall. All right, so we hung out for a little bit 
and then we got ready race two in four people and the wind was just slightly shifting a little more west all day when we set up the course it was just like south southwest and uh, you know when it starts to do a little west now all of a sudden the race start is literally in the shadow I think I was thinking it would be like the first one but it was definitely a cluster getting going I was lucky to be the first one to get up and then I kind of had enough of a lead time that I could you know kind of cruise through the course there wasn't really that much pressure on me so I, I didn't really fall and um, you know if you don't fall and you land your turns there's just a good chance that you could probably win so it's fun when everyone falls but when you make it all the way through without messing up it feels even better it feels amazing you know when you come back from a setback that also feels good it's also exhilarating to be neck and neck the whole time like uh, the third race but yeah, it turns out this is my race to shine. I got a clean run in, I got first place. The third race, there's only just three of us. It was me, Paul, and uh, Gabe. But man, what a race. We started out in our butts. I got off to a strong start, but Paul was just kind of nipping at my heels the whole time. I was kind of doing a way more aggressive downwind leg, and Paul was kind of doing more of like a side win, but he had more speed. See, he was on a 725 foil, I was on a 925 foil, so he was milking the speed part, and I was milking the way that I could get this like more of a downwind glide. And so, you know, we're, I'm rounding the buoy here, and Paul was just coming in wide, but at super speed, and he caught up to me, and we were both just white knuckling it from what seemed like way longer than what it actually was but I, I love this part Paul yells out this is racing baby uh, but man we were closer than it looks and I think I got my adrenaline pumping so hard to be so close to him and knowing that he was right there I took what I thought was like an ambitious but doable line going upwind to the red buoy and Paul kept like a high line and I think I would have had it if it wasn't except for like a gust or something kind of caused me to go up foil briefly. That was just enough for Paul to get closer to me. He rounded the buoy just a little tighter than I did and was a little upwind and I just did this straight tack to the finish. My foil was screaming with speed and Paul just went a little high and then he hit this like great line and he was just able to take me. It was awesome. It was like, that's what racing's all about. We had a blast on number three. And number four, Eric joined us. Um, there are four of us. The race could have been close between me and Paul. I ended up falling three times. But somehow I managed to get back again because as we were kind of coming on, on this one side of an upwind tack, Paul just kind of went too far into like a light wind zone and got stuck off foil. So I saw that, I did a shorter tack, I stayed where the wind was good, I was doing good, and again, Paul is here just catching up with me as we neared the red buoy, and I just made a grave mistake. I fell as I was doing an upwind tack rounding the red buoy, and Paul just squeezed by doing the tight tack, and then he came off foil, and there was a little bit of hope that, you know, maybe I could catch him, but he just ended up getting up on foil quicker and that was it. I just watched him put distance on us and uh, I even fell a fourth time which just like you know sealed the deal but as I just you know I remember being in the water and watching Paul as he crossed the finish line. These races were so tiring. I put the coordinates in Google Maps and they're at least two and a half miles long depending on your course. I ended up running the course six times that day and the course isn't too hard but holding these lines you know kind of necessitates your your arms and your body to hold in positions that you wouldn't normally hold that long. I went for over four hours in one of my previous sessions a week before and I was nowhere close to being as sore as I was the day after as I was from this race. It was great. I mean that alone makes me want to do it again. My legs, my back, my shoulder, my arms are all totally worked and that was like still two days later. You know we're gonna try to do these races every Thursday and we're just gonna continue to refine the processes and I hope by you know midsummer we'll have this cool thing going and even if it's just the three of us it's fun and it's a totally different type of session that you would have and pushing your body to do these things forcing you to do these interesting things that you wouldn't necessarily normally do and it just gives us another reason to love Pleasure Bay so that's all I got super stoked that we finally went here super stoked that it's been years in the making we finally made this happen 
and um, I just can't wait to do it again. I, I thank all of my friends who showed up and humored me, and I think the majority of us had a good time, and I hope that it's just gonna kind of add and, and we'll get more people in the in the future. So that's all I have this time. If you want to see some more of my videos, please consider clicking that subscribe button. If you want to drop a comment, I'd love to know what you think about racing. If you've done wing racing before, what's worked for you on starts or whatever, um, you know, feel free to ask any questions or just say hi. I love talking to you guys. It's been so awesome. And with that, I hope all you guys are doing well out there. I'll see you guys soon on the flip and I wish you all an awesome day. Later!